Are you thinking about getting a business coach, a mindset coach, a lifestyle coach? Well, hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a lifestyle ent entrepreneur and a business coach. And I want to talk to you about should you get yourself a business coach or should you get a business coach? Well, here's my thought on it. If you want to grow your business faster, if you want to become successful, I would get a coach. Now, I'm going to tell you all about my journey because my journey wasn't what it should have been. Because I told you earlier, I'm a former teacher. And teachers sometimes believe they have so much education they don't need any more coaching. And then they believe that because of this famous tool called Google, we can find free stuff all over the place. And we can learn it on our own pace. Now, I'm telling you my journey because that's exactly what I did. I thought, oh man, I can find this out. But I want to tell you the full truth, the real truth. I didn't know what I needed to figure out. I really didn't. I never built an online business. I was a math teacher. I knew numbers. So I knew how to do that. Some people said, well, I should go on and teach uh, on teachers pay teachers and do math stuff. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted a bigger impact when I started. So I believe you should get a business coach. Now, my first coach, I joined a mastermind. And a mastermind or a mentor or a business coach, they're all kind of the same thing. But a mastermind, you're usually in with a group of people. And I felt comfortable with that. And it was not inexpensive. And to tell you the truth, I think because of the accountability, I did a lot of things in there. And what would happen, I this mastermind was in the summer, and then I'd go back to teaching school, I got busy. So things slowed down for me. Well, after that mastermind, I decided to get a one-on-one -on -one coach. And I felt sorry for the dude because I wasn't ready. It was the same thing. I did it when I went back to school thinking, okay, here we go. I need a coach. He's going to keep me on track. Well, I really didn't know what I wanted. And he didn't know what I wanted. So when, when you get a coach, you got to be specific what you're looking for. Now, again, should you get a business coach? I'm going to say 100% yes. After that second person, I hired another one. And oh my gosh. Did we generate some thoughts? Did we generate some ideas? Did I generate my business? Did I start moving forward fast? Yes. He helped me in my mindset. You know those limiting beliefs? I had some hanging back there for me. They were just hanging on me. I couldn't get past them. He helped me through that. I didn't even know they were there. And But once they were gone and I started believing myself with my affirmations... Things just start flying. I think that's what you need to do. Now, I've had a couple other coaches. One, I didn't get what I thought I was going to get out of it. The other one, uh, the timing was just wrong. So do you know where I am right now? I'm back with the gentleman that helped me the most. But I'm also, I have two coaches at once. And I don't, don't suggest doing that. It just happened. Um... The one coach is it has a is developing a coaching program, and that's what I'm in. The first gentleman helped me the most. I'm learning how to become a certified coach, and learning how to help people more. Again, I'm a great listener. I can help people, but there there are all other things you think I think you need to know to become an extremely good coach. The other coach I'm doing is. He has a, a coaching course, like a group course. So I'm, I'm doing two different things and I wanted to find out about both of them. And it's okay. I mean, like I said, I'm a former teacher. I'm sitting here. I have time to do it. And that's what I'm doing. But again, let's get back to this. Should you get a business course? Well, I can't answer that for you, but I'm going to tell you this. If you are looking to build a business, to make some money, to have an impact in the world, to make info products, to do launches, you should get a coach. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, you should get a coach. Now, the key to having a coach 
is this. Make sure you do the work. So many people get in and they don't do the work. It's building a business is hard work. And if anybody tells you it's easy, it is not. It's hard work. You have to put in the time. That You have to do the activities. You have to build your business. I know you can do it. I really can. Hey, I got two, three things for you. Two things for you, really. If you get any value from this, hit that subscribe button, follow button, share it. Get notified when I come on. I come on once or twice a week, usually once every Tuesday, but I'm starting to build my business faster, so I'm trying to come on twice a week to do that. But I got two free resources with you. I have a checklist to how you should, what you should ask a coach when you're get, first getting started. It's at marknelsononline.com, coaches, checklist. I think that's it. It'll be in the description below. Uh, it's either coaches checklist or coaching checklist. But, uh, it'll work. <laughs> Look in the description. Now, the other one is, if you're looking for a coach, I have a great program. 12 weeks. 12 calls. Weekly calls with me. One-on-one. -on -one. If you want to see if, if you and I match up, if our personalities fit, if I'm the coach that you're looking for, and if I'm not, guess what? I'll suggest somebody else for you. Just do this. Go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call. Set up a strategy call. It's not really a strategy call. It's a brainstorming call. I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to ask you first to fill out a little forum for some questions. Then we're going to talk. Because one, I, I need to know what transformation you're looking for because that's what coaching is all about. I want you to get where you need to go. So there you have it. You take care and we will talk again soon.